Hello and welcome back to the Geek Tech Show and in today's video we are going to be checking out the Gaubo Chuas and in our video review we are going to be checking out and viewing and inspecting this tool and you'll be finding out if I give this the thumbs down or the thumbs up at the end of the video. Also I'm going to be giving the rating for this motor tool and comparing this to this specific cheap junk door tool that I got for less than 10 bucks. So which one is it? Is it worth it for you to go ahead and keep your old junky tool or would you rather upgrade to the brand new Garbo Schwarz motor tool? In this video we are going to find out. And here is the Garbo tool, I just got this in the mail. This is how it actually looks like inside of its original box. And let's open it up and inspect what is included. Small booklet. The actual tool and already defective right out of the box. It's kind of a shame that this specific one doesn't have a battle carrying case to it. Also over here this doesn't look too good but this is okay. This will do. You can put this two ways on you but you have to take your whole belt off to strap this on which is not too cool. I don't like that that much. But the most important thing is of course the tool itself. The thing for this tool is not so great. It doesn't look great already and I just bought this. So not happy with that at all. Now let's compare this to a cheap tool I just got from Walmart. This is one like it. It's about the same exact size. This is a little bit more heavy more substantial. It opens up pretty easy and quick. It is a camo version of it. And if you open up right here, this actually opens up pretty well as well. They kind of look about the same. This one has black in it. And now snap it back in. So the big difference between those two is that first of all the cheap tool has everything on the inside, which is really stupid by the way, because if you need to access any of those tools, you can't get them. So this is actually what makes this tool cheap for a reason, less than 10 bucks. On the other hand, the garble itself, you can access all those tools from the outside. This is actually much smarter thinking than this cheap tool. Now, let's go ahead and see which tools we have here. We have the knife, as soon as you bring it all the way over here it stops moving so you have to use the safety in order for you to get this back in there was a bunch of different tools over here there was one here there was the scissors which is in weird position actually so you have to go every single time you want to use it and make it to be scissors and then you have to put it right back in and then put it back inside this is not actually very good it's a little bit dangerous but since this is almost not really sharp and I mean not really sharp this is not so bad because the blade itself here is not Weatherman style Weatherman I'm careful with that this is almost dual I mean it's not that dual you can feel it a little bit sharp but it's not this dangerous well, let's go and check this out. It's like a mini knife here. There's another tool here which is really hard to get out. This one right here. Which makes you need to get the knife out to get this tool right out of here. Otherwise it's nearly impossible to get this tool out of here. Because otherwise you need to really get in here and... Well, you could I guess. Here we go. You have to put your finger right here and try to get it out. And I got it. I don't know what this is actually is for. Um, maybe it's... Oh, it is like centimeters and inches. I wish this thing was longer. One of the biggest problems I have with this tool is that every one of those is just small. Every single one is that it is like miniature. Really small in size. And you have like a lot more space here to go. So I don't understand why they didn't go ahead and give it a few more 
just a little bit extra to this. It would have been a little bit of a better tool here. There's another one, the screwdriver. And here we go, screwdriver itself. Press on this. And the tools in this specific garbo are much better than in previous ones I've seen before. But there is a few problems. First of all, well, if you look like this, this is good. Previous one had a problem. Well, both of them were not even aligned, which was the suspension garbo itself. Now, this one has its own issue. I don't know if you can notice it, but one of them is a little bit darker than the other. So this one is darker, this is slightly brighter, and you have the same exact issue right here, which means that when they actually created this, they used two different pieces of metal, and then they just put them to combine, which is just really, really bad. Uh, quality markmanship right here. So though the whole tool is okay, this is not what I like. I don't like when one of them is slightly different color. And it's very very slight, but it's enough to annoy me, for sure. And if you're looking over here, and this is almost okay. I mean, the previous one had an issue with it, so I'm definitely checking if they align together because of that. This is also right here, is another thing that could piss somebody off, definitely because of just its location, right there. It could have been like maybe small, I would say. Now the tool itself, it's pretty solid. It's, it's, it's good. It opens and closes much better than the previous garbo that I seen that had a lot more issues with that. But this tool has its own issues. The one I don't like is already explained to different colors, but this is only quality control, so it's not such a big deal. But compared to size-wise, this is just too big. I would say, compared to my hand, you can see that this is a humongous, a big tool for you to have in your pocket. So I would say, if you can get this super cheap, it's not such a problem. If somebody gives you it as a gift, it's okay. But overall, I'm not going to be jumping on a tool just like this. I don't like the way it actually looks. It looks maybe okay, but I wish it was a little bit more slimmer here. Two, it's not the best in grip. So let's say you want to use like a knife, for example. I'm just holding it. It feels a little bit too awkward, a little bit too big it's very hard for you to wrap your hand around this because the item is just slightly too big it just is unless you have bigger hands and my hands are pretty big enough so i'm actually thinking that this tool has been designed well if you have big hands if you have like small hands this is just too big for your hand period and you can see right here how big this tool is actually is and the downside is it's okay if it's big if the tools are big too but the tools are small compared to the size of this whole tool so yeah i'm on waiting this maybe like a little bit thumbs down maybe uh, i would say six out of ten scale and this wraps up the review of the gobble tool